Okay. So, welcome back everybody to another episode, rather, the first non-introductory episode of Compelled Cooperation Place, Pillars of Eternity. If he thinks there's no way I'd ever wake up, why did he take my body with him? No, we don't have enough requirements in our stats. Uh, we know who he is. He's our meat bag. Oh. And we kept my statue. Because I got plot armor. Engrim, the smell of drink on your breath could wake the very dead. I know this is asking a lot, but you better arm yourself. So let's see. Tab key shows our stuff. Alright. Now make some use of it. We don't need a tutorial. But we should probably put up our spell book. Weapon sets. What's this thing? Ah! The bonus that we got from the first game. 25% max health, all defenses, and all skills. Oh, it's food. So, armor, um, the heavier you go, the penalty you get for recovery time, but you get more defenses. So, again, anyone can stick on armor, it just makes things more difficult. We'll go with cloth. Extra weapon sets for I don't know why. Okay. And then the game is basically real time with pause, so we're gonna go out here and hopefully, uh, get into some kicking the doors down. Yeah, that's interesting. Going to wear his breeches on his head and dance for us? Did I hear that right? Aye, oh, but the breeches are going to be stitched from your skin. <laughs> you got a small mouth on ya. Careful. It'll get. Listen up, mates. I'm off to spear me a bigger fish, one with sharper teeth. Like. I'm trusting you lot not to cut this up. Don't. Play with a crew if you'd like. So he taunts us and then leaves? Okay. Uh, watch your powers to frighten people. Spellcasts. Arcane Assault is your standard, so we have accuracy 24 versus their reflex for some damage. Or missiles with always guaranteed to hit. 
and deal Crusher Corrode. Arcane Assault is pretty good. Look at that nice AoE, but only 37% chance to hit. Combat Introduction is going to tell me it's real time with pause. Or auto pause on combat start. Good. Uh, let's see. That's AI. Script is active. I don't control editor yet. So the white bar there is the uh, recovery time. And... We are going. Stats down here show you all the nice number logs. You can go into full detail if you want. But yeah, killing pirates. Easy. What? No loot? Pull up base and you kill people, sleep the corpses. Oh no! People are going overboard! People or stuff? Stuff. He should be able to swim, right? So this tip is basically summarizing that spells that are int boosted will only do faux damage in the intellect increased area of effect, while they'll do both friend and foe damage in their base radius. So that's one benefit of taking intellect, you can have much better targeting. So. We'll catch up next time, the next episode of Compels Cooperation, Place Pillars of Eternity.